Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Um, we're having a little new setup here. Uh, we're going over the uh, 433 book, uh, Quarters. Uh, quarters is a different formation. I never really broken it down. Uh, so we're going to do our best to break down. We're going to show you some stuff that we found out of Quarters so far uh, in practice mode and stuff like that this year. So um, Quarters is a unique formation. and the, the per Quarters is a lot like a 3-4. Um, we also have dollar 3 6 and they kind of work similarly. But we're going to go over Quarters today. Now what you want to do with your depth chart is you want to put two linebackers at the defensive end position. You want to put your best defensive lineman at the uh, defensive tackle. So for the Niners, it would be Justin Smith. Uh, your middle linebacker needs to be, you know, fast, strong, agile, and all that. Now, other than that, I mean, it's really set. You don't really have to have any, there's no set uh, way to do your defensive backs. Uh, I would put your two strongest or fastest dudes in the slot uh, so that they can be blitzing for us. But anyway, out of quarters, um, your base play for this is going to be the cover four now or the DB strike. You can do either or. I like the cover four because quarters is more of a pass-based defense, and so we're going to be doing a lot more of a, a coverage kind of a style of, of play now. Uh, the key to quarters is the same as the key to the three fours is the shifting of the linemen. So we're going to basically we're going to press, and we're going to sh uh, crash our line up, and we're going to shift them to the left here. And if we want to bring pressure off the left side, then we're going to shift our linebacker to the opposite side. You see how he goes to the opposite side here. And you're going to re-blitz him almost every single time uh, you're bringing pressure. And then all you have to do, the cool part about it is all you have to do is you have to get on Culver here and just re-blitz him. And if you want to maybe get Smith free, you can go ahead and re-blitz him. And here you'll see uh, B-gap pressure from the defensive back. And the cool part about this is it, it's very, you can do it, you can send pressure both sides from either look. So if I want to bring pressure off the right, all I have to do is re-blitz Whitner straight down here. And he should come off of the right edge here. As you see, there he comes. So this is crucial because now we can bring edge pressure from both sides and we can also play coverage D from this. So we're going to base on, we're going to press, crash line up, uh, shift him left, shift our linebacker to the right side of the field. Now we're going to leave our linebacker in a zone here. We're going to re-blitz Alvin Smith straight down and we're going to put, uh, um, you can do whatever you want with Alvin, uh, Justin Smith. You can blitz him straight down, you can put him in a deep blue zone, you can spine. Uh, he is uh, kind of a utility player, but in quarters, uh, it is a little different for me. I like to uh, use the, uh, this safety right here uh, most of the times, and you'll see here for this coverage, I'm going to put him in a flat zone, but I'm really going to be using the seams on the left side of the field here. And, uh, you know, we've been blitzing, we've been establishing some of the pressure, and now all of a sudden we're bringing, you know, coverage defense from it. So that's the key to the quarters. Uh, so that's pressure off the, uh, when we shift to the left. For the right side pressure, you're going to baseline, you're going to press, and you're going to uh, crush line the uh, down. So you're going to uh, hit L1 and it's going to be called crash middle. You're going to shift your line to the right side of the field. You're going to shift your line back to the opposite side, the left side here. And if you want to bring pressure off the edge, you're going to go ahead and reboot Dante Whitman. And you'll see here we bring pressure right off the edge, very clean. Okay. Now say you want to bring um, pressure off the uh, left side. Well, you're going to bring Culver down here like this. You're going to reboot him and... Uh, you can contain Harrelson if you want. Um, and you see here, here it comes off the edge to the left side, even though it looks like you're bringing pressure from the right uh, because of the linebackers shift. Uh, that's the key to this uh, defense, is that we can bring pressure from both sides, both looks. It's just, you know, it, it's just depending on what we want to do. And then if we want to bring coverage D, still crashing the line down, you're going to reboot Harrelson. You can spy Justin Smith. And again, we like to use one of the safeties. It doesn't matter which one. Um, but I prefer the left side of the field uh, for my user player. And there you see here we come off the edge quick and uh, get sacked. So that's the key to this defense. Uh, and you can bring it from any, any play. Uh, you can go ahead and bring it from two man under. Um, so it's easy setups and uh, pretty easy pressure for the most part. If I can get on my guy here. Um, one play that has the setups already done for us, let me talk, I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, here you go from two men under, you can bring pressure off the edge. That was kind of funky, that whole setup was bad because I kept getting off my dudes. Let me try that one more time for you guys. Crash line down, shift him to the right. Get on Whitner, re -blitz him, user one of the safeties. And there you see here we come off the edge. Now, uh, you can also bring it from cover three, so we'll show you. And 
Well, I keep bumping the dang controller again, guys. Um, let's see if this comes in. It comes up the edge there. I tried to spine contain, see if it would even have potential, and I don't think it has potential out of quarter. Uh, that's the one issue I found with quarters this year. That's why I don't really run it that much. Uh, you can't run the spike contain concepts from it because it's a three down lineman type of a set. Uh, you can also rebut what's Cox here. You see here, uh, watch where Cox is going to bring the pressure from the B gap. So, kind of a catch, you know, whatever you want to do there. But anyway, that's the basic setups. Uh, you can run out of any of your quick auto. So, we got cover two. Um, we got um, co uh, two men under. We got cover three. And then we have our blitz audible down. Now, the blitz audible down is what I want to talk about. He these blitz angles are nice from uh, Cole, where you see how they don't change. So, uh, if we want to bring double sided pressure, what we're going to do with this is we're going to base align. You don't have to press, but I like to press to make it all look uh, uniform. And whatever side you want to crash, you can crash the line up and shift them to the left. And shift your linebacker to the right and re blitz him. And that's all you should, that should be all you have to do. Uh, you may want to re blitz Whitner just so it's a, a cleaner angle. But you should get pressure off both sides here. Uh, there you see, there comes Whitner right off the edge, and Culver is coming right behind him. And you can also do it like this. You can baseline, you can press, you can crash the line up, shift them to the left, uh, crash, uh, or re, uh, shift the linebacker opposite side to the right and re-blitz him. And again, you can re-blitz Smith if you want it to come up the B-gap. Um, creates a little bit more of a hole there. So That's the other smoke, and the unique part is we can bring it from both sides. So, And then if you want to bring from one side, what you can do is... Um, slide him in like this. You can move Smith over a tick. Uh, sometimes, you know, that works for me. I think you can spy and contain, uh, I think you can spy Harrelson contain, uh, God darn it. Let me reset the play, guys. I'm sorry. I bumped the wrong dude here. So, uh, if you want to send it from the one side, I think you can uh, spy and contain. So, bring over down like this. Um, you want to slide Smith over a tick for single side pressure. Uh, and then you can put um, a spy of Harrelson, a contain of Whitner, and you can use it the middle linebacker in the zone. And you'll see here it comes up the le off the left side untouched, and the spy contain concept holds true there as well. So uh, if you want to bring it off the right side, or not the right side, the left side, crash the line down, shift them to the left, uh, shift the linebacker over to the left, and now what you're going to do, you're going to do the same concept. So you're going to uh, contain Culver, spy Smith, um, and for this I like to re blitz Harrelson. I'm bringing it from the right because it makes it a cleaner blitz and then you're going to use it in the middle with the uh, middle linebacker there and we got picked up for some reason so I wonder if it, it you know it may be kind of glitchy the way the spies and contains work as they always are guys so you know but uh, let's try to contain and let's try to slide Clover and spy him let's see if that gets the job done I don't think it will though no because the dude is already there so that won't work uh, you'll have to go ahead and leave them blitzing if you're going to bring from the left or from the right side of the field so just remember bringing it from the right side of the field you're going to have to you're going to have to leave them blitzing bring it from the left side of the field you can contain and spy just okay, based on the placement of the players guys is what it is now let me talk, talk to you about another base play option this is a, a base play that allows you to bring you know it allows you to bring you know pressure um it's already set up for you uh i don't know well, I mean, let's just go over it. So inside blitz, you see the middle linebacker is already blitzing. You already have a guy blitzing here. So you don't have to do anything to it. So the cool part is all you have to do is base the line. Uh, you can press if you want. And then you're just going to sh uh, sh shift the or crash the line down, shift them to the right, shift the linebacker to the left, and it should be set up. Let me see if I got it correct. See, we come up the B gap, but he slides over. So let's try and make it a little cleaner of a blitz. Uh, same setup, crash line down, shift them to the right. And this time we're going to re-blitz the linebacker, see if it keeps the blitz come through straight. Uh, so we come up to B-gap. And the reason I don't like B-gap pressure this year is because the center will slide over. So let's try and make sure it comes off the edge. So we're going to base the line, we're going to press, we're going to crash the line down. We're going to shift them to the right, and then we're going to shift the linebacker to the left. And uh, we're going to re-blitz him. And we're going to go ahead and re-blitz Harrelson. And now we should be good. Yeah, there you see there. We're coming off the edge now. Very clean and quick pressure. So, uh, guys, this has been some basic setups from quarters. Uh, let me show you one A-gap blitz, and it's it's basically the same exact setup, I think, as the 3-3-5 A-gap, but it only works on this side of the field. That's why I'm going to move the ball back here. Uh, it only works on this side of the field for whatever reason, and you have to show blitz out of it. That's why I don't I don't really use this, but I will show it because we're breaking out of formation. Baseline, show blitz. 
and basically you see where they go here. So you're gonna um, slide Smith over to the right and then re-blitz him and then click off. And then you're just gonna re-blitz Spillman and then you should get a get pressure up the middle. And of course we did. So you may need to put a faster guy than Justin Smith there because Justin Smith is a good lineman but he's kind of slow. So let's see if we can't. Uh, let's try re-blitzing this guy and the middle linebacker here. Essentially just bring him over in the middle. So for whatever reason we're getting edge, so you may have to lab that A get more. Let me try putting McDonald there and see. I'm not positive on the A gap from quarter. Uh because it took me like I mean it I mean I basically had to get told by somebody else that was similar. You know, look at the three three five and then look at the uh the quarter and you'll find the A gap, but I never even use the A gap, so slide him over, you blitz him. Let's try rebooting Whitner here. And Spillman. Now it's gonna get. Nope. Okay, we're gonna try one other setup. Well, let's try moving him over to the left. Well, there's B gap. So. I mean, but it's it's not good because it's overloading the blitz. Let's try re-blitzing the linebacker. And now they're all straight down blitz angles. And now, let's see. I don't know why I'm not getting it, guys. Uh, go ahead and lab that. Uh, see if you can come up with a setup. Uh, just remember the 3-3-5 two-man under blitz. Uh, it's very similar to it, and you should be good. Um, I wouldn't use it anyway. Uh, to be honest, it's not that good. Uh, and that's not meant to downplay the formation. It's just not that great of an A-gap blitz because um, the number one, you have to show blitz, so you you lose the element of of uniformity. And number two, you know you have to be on a certain side of the field. I mean, it's just it's just a, a headache to have to think about all that crap uh, when setting your plays up. So I would personally stay away from this this kind of a blitz. Number one, because aggressive will you know clear it up and there you see it uh so you finally ended up getting it so what it is is you base on line you show blitz you move him over to the left a tick and then you re-blitz him and then you re-blitz this lineman over here on the right side and um you need to re-blitz Spillman and I think you should be good so we got a one time and then we didn't get it so let's see maybe it's just maybe we just got lucky on that one time we got it Yeah, I guess we did just get lucky. <laughs> so, anywho, guys, um, that's all that I have from quarters. That's all I know. Uh, I personally run a lot of coverage D from quarters. So, what I would do is I would baseline a two-man under, and you could do you know do your your crash line or whatever. Zone your uh, reblitz your um, linebacker and then zone him up, and then reblitz Harrison straight down. The dude in the spy. Now you have the best coverage in the game, and uh, you know you have two-man blitzing. And the two-man blitz is, isn't that bad from this formation. So, and you can use in the middle. Plus, you have their all corners. So, it's going to be your best coverage out, out there. The curl routes don't beat it. So, I mean, it's a, it's a tough two-man under to beat. So, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you guys learned something, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down as to what you learned. Or if you have any questions. Uh, if you guys need help, uh, you know, additional help, one-on-one -on -one help, hit me up for some Madden. Uh, lessons. You could private message me on YouTube. You can email me on uh, the email links below. You can check out uh, some of the other links that I posted in the description. Also, if you guys are looking for more uh, more content from me, go ahead and hit the subscription button below. We have a ton of Madden content up at the channel. I think we're almost over 100 videos if we're not already. Uh, thanks, guys, again for the 200 subscribers. I did not f forget to thank you guys. I just um, I've been thinking about what to do for 200 subscribers, and I think what I'm going to do is, is I think the 4-3 free, free book, and I also think I'm going to be breaking out the rest of the San Francisco 40, 49ers offensive playbook. Um, I want to show you guys some other key stuff from that. Masta Chappie actually already did a breakdown on that, so I will link his channel at the end of this video below. Uh, this has been part 8 of the quarter. Uh, I don't know if it's actually part 8, but uh, now this is the latest installment of the 4-3 free book. Hopefully you guys uh, have enjoyed it. And I will actually, I think I have a written guide, but I think it's only for the, the core. 
principles of the of the defense. So I will um, potentially upload that to YouTube in a video and then get you a download link to go download it. But if I do not do that, um, then just message me if you need help with the setups. I'm always, you know, uh, checking my email. That's the one thing I can do at this point. Um, I don't have a, a ton of time to play the game, but I do have a ton of time to check emails uh, because I work. And, you know, while I'm at work, it's mostly desk jobs, so I can kind of have a break every now and then. But anywho, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hope it helped, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.